What's going down, Watch Dogs Legions fans? Ubisoft is actually doing some decent work. For as far as as we slam into June, and they delayed a little bit of their roadmap, we are going to be seeing some more progressive steam from them. My name is Mac with the McGabber 7 channel. For returning community members, what's going down? Slam that like button. For everyone that's brand new, I definitely recommend hitting that subscription button and accompanying it with the notification bell so you get all the newer gaming notification as it goes live. You should get excited because we're going to go ahead and slam into what's going down this week with Ubisoft and Watch Dogs Legions. Some cliff notes before we go into, and we're going to be watching some really cool video in a second they have put together. I think that that was really great for them to do. For as far as the title updates, the 4.5, the TU, is all platforms. Newer online mode content. We're looking at some nice Legions of the Dead on the PC Alpha, as well as we can see that we have Helen is coming on June 15th. So in about two weeks, we'll be looking for a nice solid patch as far as her but let's check out the video as you can see we're looking at this it's looking pretty cool for as far as the way we're going to be lining up ah oh, looks like a normal zombie apocalypse pretty sweet tactical ops 2 runs into Oh, Helen, probably my favorite character. OG Granny. Oh, snap, 60 frames. That is what's up. Now, for most people wondering how many gigs is this going to be, about 17 gigs for your normal console, and about roughly about for the next generation consoles, it came in about five to six. It wasn't that bad. But let's go ahead and take a look at what the finite details, and I'll have everything linked down below if you want to read this in some detail. So as we can see, we're going to scroll in so we can kind of just optimize what's going down and scroll over. You can see one of the bigger portions we can go from worth 16 to 39 gigs, depending on the platforms of which you're going. But the 60 frame performance, that's one of the things that I was super excited about. Cross Family Play is now available on Xbox One, Xbox Series S and X, as well as PlayStation 4 and 5 now can play together through their console families, which is great because they actually did roll back for Borderlands, which was really strange. I was like whoa state of play rolled out and randy was like saying we can't and i was like what this, what's going on here they're, so it's exciting to see that they're pushing forward with the added connectivity of a gaming battle system and the added load system and hints for the hud and the customization option they also had several adjustments and optimizations to start the single player campaign this well speed up in earlier areas where it was going to make it easier and newer players to find their footing in the near future london for as far as the hud presets the light presets which turn off a few of the most intrusive hud elements as well as the immersive portion for as far as the presets which keeps only to most necessary information the developer comment you can read right there but the improved portion of the operatives and the bio memories now it's added 80 memories will appear in operative bios completing various missions again developer comments if you'd like to read those they're getting really good at mopping up and leaving their well commentary but facts that's what i like new operative for as far as the field we already know what's going to be happen helen my og she's coming on the 15th get excited people get excited that og granny's coming for as far as the online mode we see season two and the new reward track for online mode we can see that this portion for players is live you can see that there will be a level up earn exclusive customization as we saw before for as far as the credits now you can rank up to the features of level 80 progression each influence reward is smaller than season one eight versus the ten but overall the seasons will be significantly more influenced to earn for as far as the cosmetic items you can earn compared to season one the update inside of the sound and the visuals when claiming rewards you'll know ding just like a trophy yeah Moving on past that, we can see that the new daily challenges have been added. There's a great expanded to set the masks that could not be found in the hotspots. The ability to profile other players. You are now able to profile other players. They make that very clear in the session when viewing the start. 
slightly reduce overall difficulty with the co-op. You can see that they have more time in a lot of factors. For revive and locate, the fallen team members will be increased by 5 seconds for the fallen and the body count for the meltdown to 30. So you can see also that, that the health is increased for the backpack and the meltdown response for plus 25%. Online in the modes for as far as the button and the polish you can see this going to be coming into it they've also had some newer bug fixes which we can see that are going to be rolling out now this is where it gets a little complicated as we zoom out and see how many bug fixes this is like some cyberpunk 2077 you know like they're really just you know gussing it up and yeah they have made some progression on cyberpunk i think it's a game that has come a decent way not a long way but a decent way so for as far as the bug fixes you can see that there's going to be a fixed a lot of points from waypoints down to the tower and locations in london on the on loan assignments you have mina in the despawn when the mind controlling an enemy missing subtitles in the local during and rising missions and the single players and these are just a few that are starting off Ooh. i like to say newbie soft sometimes in the past because these were recurring issues you know and it was really redundant with the way that they were going with i'm hoping that they don't have like some spider but actually you know what check this out i'm really curious point taken spider bot it's just a lot better than what they used to and they have two and if there's a spider bot arena which is not so these are newer issues that they have finally started to get down to and fixing a lot of the repetitive points so if you've been having a portion with the newer portion of mina and other portions of the intelligent gathering i mean let's be real here this game has been a little bit of a disaster since day one but now we're finally starting to see some things that are going to be polished out so take a look at the list as we scroll down and definitely get educated for as far as what's going to be fixed for each system so if you're on pc just scroll down to the pc and see what's going down and etc for as far as the other liked consoles you can see for as far as the last generation consoles they did not get hit as hard um, a lot of community members were always mentioning hey you know i'm not having a lot of issues with you know like uh, playstation 4 or xbox you know like it's not really that big of a deal versus like the newer gen for playstation 5 and you know the xbox series x and s which were rolling out with some issues and you can kind of see that the issues definitely do get a little bit more from anywhere from a code down to the portions of the online modes getting better stadia still makes the list as well as it gets a little bit thinner but the majority was a universal portion of fixing this game and adding a lot of cooler stuff that's going to be continuously throughout the next few weeks so if you're having an issue and you're still plagued with what's going down in this universe that we call watchdogs legion leave a comment down below two weeks they're going to be rolling out another patch with helen and who knows maybe they're going to be fixing some of these things since we already looked at the patch list and it is looking newer and better so good job ubisoft this is one of the things where i can actually say that this game is gaining some momentum but i will look to the community members that are still steaming in this game day in day and out grinding for the xp experiencing the online mode how is it for you I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. If you haven't already hit that subscription bell, just go ahead and punch it, as well as the notification bell along with it, so you can get all the future gameplay, as well as gaming news that comes out of my channel. Stay safe, stay classy, everyone. And if you subscribe today, who knows? Maybe Ubisoft will continue these quality updates that I am starting to really enjoy with them. But I will listen to the community to see what's exactly going on, because last time... You know, I thought it was good. People were falling through London's bridges. London's bridges falling down. Isn't there a song? I think that's like a, you know, one of those like nursery rhymes. I don't know. Anyways, later everyone. <laughs>